Well, welcome everybody. Thank you for coming to Brocade. I'm Lisa Kaywood, also known as The Real Lisa C. Um, we are getting a little bit of a late start this morning, so I'm just going to go very, very quickly through just a few slides. For those of you who are sitting here thinking, wait a minute, I'm a networking guy. What am I doing sitting at a storage company? Rest assured, you are in the right place. Um, and I'm just going to walk you just through very quickly through kind of who we are and why you're here. Um, but first, we will be talking about some futures today. Please don't sue us. Okay. Um, well question. said. <laughs> Any embargoes? Anything? No. No, we're, all, we're live online, so. Um, founded in 1995 as a fiber channel company. Currently, we're at about 4,500 employees. Headquartered right here in San Jose. We do also have a major site in uh, Colorado. Um, 160 companies and roughly $2 billion in revenue. Marching steadily onward and upward, which is always nice. Um, enterprise and SP markets. Started out, of course, in the, the SAN business. Moved into Ethernet. We've got 100 gig, we've got hybrid open flow at 100 gig. We invented Ethernet fabrics, and 90% of the, the Fortune one th or the Global 1000 use us, including a lot of the internet service pro or exchange providers. So in the immortal words of my good friend and uh, colleague John Hudson, also known as the Solutioneers, we sell stuff. <laughs> um, specifically, we sell service provider stuff, we sell enterprise stuff, we sell campus stuff, we sell, we sell data center stuff, we sell fiber channel stuff, we sell ethernet stuff, we sell ethernet fabric stuff, we sell wireless stuff, we sell wired stuff. Networking stuff, that's what we have. Um, we'll be spending most of our day today, <laughs> most of our day today on the left side of the screen. Um, so primarily our ethernet portfolio there. Um, we'll be spending, um, there's sort of two root stocks for our Ethernet and Ethernet fabric product lines. The first is actually old school brocade. Um, the VDX Ethernet fabric line was actually something that was invented by fiber channel guys, people who know their way around a fabric and think fabric natively and said, hey, we can put that on an Ethernet transport. The second root stock was Foundry. Brocade bought Foundry in 2008. And since that time, we've continually added to that portfolio, and you'll be hearing about some of that um, innovation this morning. Uh, so very quickly, obviously, we're running about 15 minutes behind schedule here, but first up this morning, we'll have Jessica Coe talking about our HyperEdge technology that's on our campus uh, switches. This is something that's coming up. We'll be shipping this spring. Um, at noon or shortly thereafter, Kelvin Franklin will be talking about our VCS fabrics. Um, now, I know we've kind of got a range here. People who got their hands dirty with us last year maybe poked at this bad boy when, last month when we launched it. Maybe some people who kind of haven't really played with fabrics at all. So we'll spend some time doing a level set, and then the rest of the time, uh, Kelvin will be spending some time talking about common use cases for fabrics, what he's seen when he's talking with customers as to what problems they're really looking to solve and how fabrics have helped them. So gold mine of real world information about how this stuff actually works. Make sure, make sure you make use of that. Um, at lunch, we will have an optional OpenStack demo for those of you who are interested in that. And then at 1.30, Kurt Beckman in the back there um, will be talking about his role and what he's doing with the OpenFlow um, group ONF and particularly his, the uh, working group that he's chairing. Um, and then in the afternoon, the last session, um, Keith Stewart, who runs our ADX product line, that's our load balancer, and I say that in quotes deliberately, and uh, Martin McNeilis, who runs the VDX product line, I'll explain in a minute, um, will be talking about what we're doing from an SDN perspective, so across the board here at Brocade. Um, the reason I, I say that in quotes is because a couple of the astute individuals who were here last month at Tech Field Day, or our Tech Day, um, commented, you know, it's really not just a load balancer, it's kind of more of a services switch, which was a very astute observation. I think that um, Keith will sort of give you a little bit more uh, visibility to that when he talks this afternoon. So with that, I will hand it off to Jessica.